So here's all the stuff I picked up today. Um, it's pretty much starting to rain outside. Uh, so sales weren't incredibly uh, good, but I did um, pick up a little bit here. Uh, these were pretty interesting. I really didn't look at them very much, but those uh, costume earrings are kind of fancy and, and it was like a dollar probably. So I thought those were kind of neat. Um, picked up this here. I don't, I don't know what it is. Just nice costume piece with, with these earrings. And I, I don't know if these are exactly a set. Um, but these ones are Trafari. And I don't know if this is Trafari or Monet or whatever. But that's kind of a nice little set up there. Um, let's see. I can get this untangled. Just a little cat pin. Um, I don't think it's signed. Mm, nope, don't see a signature. Pick that up. Um, what else is in here? I just got this stuff, so I haven't even really gone through it. I know it's nothing uh, spectacular. Uh, this is Jade Silver Clasp. Um, nothing, again, nothing too great, but nice little piece to add to, you know, if I get some other jade or something. Um, a nice pair of earrings, one of them's broken. There's a nice, uh, amethyst sterling, one of them's missing the post, but pretty heavy little pair of silver earrings. Um, silver... Apple pin. Mark Sterling. Pick that up. Can kind of just see. Just random silver stuff. I mean, really nothing crazy. Sterling charm bracelet. Kind of ballerina theme going on. Pretty cool. That was a, one of the better ones today. A little single earring. Silver rings. Like, this lady had all this stuff with Cookie Lee on it. But this, I don't think this is Cookie, Cookie Lee jewelry at all. So, those are silver. Two of these rings are silver. Maybe three of them, maybe all of them, I don't know. Um, what else? Another one. Silver ring. Dollar. Um, I did pick up this stuff. Let's see. says Tiffany and Co on it and then I've got the earrings but uh, I'm pretty sure that those are fake I'm just gonna go out on a limb there and say that those aren't real um, they look like they're probably silver but the markings look just ever so slightly off to me um, the markings on the earrings are actually pretty good, pretty spot on, but the ring, see how the, the spacing is kind of weird? The T comes off over the side. Plus, there's no markings on the inner part of the ring, um, which I think usually it would say Tiffany & Co. like, you know, on the inside as well. Um, so, I don't know. Pick those up. They, they seem like silver, but I doubt they're uh, real. Picked up a couple of these silver sandal deals. Um, got a nice comedy tragedy ring. Silver for a quarter. Another nice silver ring. So it's 
It's got all these kind of sayings on it and whatever. Little silver pen. You know, just more random silver stuff. People are really beating me up too over this stuff. I mean, just like little silver chains and whatever, and everybody's like, oh, it's silver, it's real. I mean, you know. Whatever. Nice silver necklace. Silver and crystal thing. Silver and CZ cross. Another silver sandal. Little silver and turquoise and pearl piece. Um, but yeah. I got all that stuff, but I mean, I, I kind of had to pay up for some of it. Like, I think I paid five bucks for this um, jade uh, necklace. Uh, a couple, most of it was a few dollars a piece, but ugh, people were giving me a hard time about it. Like, oh, it's silver. I'm like, have you seen the price of silver? Silver's down so much right now. People think it's all like, I don't, I don't know what they think. They think like, you know, that a pin like this should be worth like 20 bucks or something when really it's maybe two dollars in silver i mean i don't know anyway here's some more silver stuff that i got this week um again nothing uh nothing too great just random silver like little silver rings um little silver bracelets um this one i don't know if it's silver i gotta test it probably not but interesting little bracelet um, silver little bangle, some little earrings, little bracelets, um, little studs, some marcasite earrings that are pretty nice, um, some newer hoops and, and just whatever. This was a pretty nice big um, silver pendant that I got for pretty cheap. It's like 10 or 15 grams um, and it's signed by somebody so it's a cool little piece. This little cat thing might be silver. Don't know, I gotta test that, but um, little silver turquoise chip ring. Um, so, again, just dollar, two dollars, different sales, whatever. Um, got that stuff. Um, I got this, which is nothing nothing special either, but it's just um, the silver and garnet um, little necklace set. It was Mark 10, I got it for five. Um, I was like, I just, I'm like, I like it. It was towards the end of the day. I'm like, yeah, it's really nice, but I'm not paying 10 bucks for it. He's like, oh, how much? And I'm like, uh, I'll do five on it. I'll be pretty happy. So, um, it kind of goes with this, um, ring I got at a different sale. There's a silver and garnet ring. So, I'll probably sell all that together. I mean, honestly, if I get like 20 bucks for that, this whole little set, that's that's pretty good. I'll, I'll try and get 20, 25 bucks and throw it in a little envelope and there it goes. Um, it came in this cold water creek case. I don't know. Whatever. But I got this piece and the, and the lady was really, really beating me up about this. And she's like, ah, that, you know, she had a bunch of junk. And I'm like, this is the only piece that was halfway decent. And I'm like, okay, how much you want for that? Oh, that one's like the greatest, you know, thing ever. And I'm like, eh. Like, it's okay, like, it's nicer, and I want to buy it, but how much? I wouldn't take less than 15, and I'm like, uh, I don't know if I even want to pay 15, but um, I ended up getting her down to 12, which was really, like, brutal, but um, it is pretty nice. Uh, it is definitely red coral, um, and it's got a silver clasp, and, uh, you know, it's nice, but it's, it's really a small size i mean it's probably 16 inch maybe maybe 15 i mean it's like a it's a choker basically um and she's trying to be like oh chokers are in right now and i'm like oh yeah, yeah. but anyway not a bad piece i was pretty happy with it i mean it looks really nice i'm sure i'll do fine on it um anyway best piece i got so i got this um, this stuff, these earrings, and I don't know, a couple of these other hoop deals, um, all from this lady for 10 bucks, and, um, this bag actually, she just put this, st that stuff, all of that stuff into this bag for me, um, I didn't know it actually went with this piece, um, 
but this actually turned out to be incredibly expensive piece um, I had no idea I so I saw this ring so it was literally it was sitting off with like you know the, this kind of stuff on the table and I was just like oh that's a big ring um, and then I, I was just I just picked it up because it looked so weird I'm like oh that's huge um, I mean you can see how big this ring is I mean it only fits on my pinky but <laughs> look at that I mean that's massive so apparently this is a Diane Maloof uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right I'm sorry but I looked in the inside and I saw a mark so it is marked somewhere on the inside here yeah you can't really see it oh there it is it's marked in there 14k925 um, and then Diane uh, DLM or whatever in there um, and apparently this whole piece here is 14 karat gold. This is a nice big onyx and silver, and it is a gigantic ring. Um, I I don't know. I paid 10 bucks for everything. I was like, oh, this is a really nice big silver ring. You know, I'm thinking, oh, I could probably, you know, it's got some 14 karat on it. I'm sure I can get 40 or 50 bucks at least for it. Um, but turns out, I guess, this is a really good designer. I, first time I've ever seen any of it. And uh, this ring currently has a bid at 435 bucks, So not too bad for my uh, $10 investment. And I got this other, you know, I mean, this big silver piece would pay for it. Um, so yeah, I, that was my best find. Um, and I got this last weekend since I've already got it listed. Um, so nothing too crazy except for that, um, which was actually a, a big surprise. And the auction's not over, so it could go for more. Um, but, you know, with all this stuff, this is pretty typical um, for my garage sale uh, finds. Nothing really insane except for this. I mean, this was a good score, but um, nothing really else. Like no gold or no big silver or, you know, anything. Um, spectacular so that's why I was kind of putting off making a video but if you like this video and you like uh, seeing this kind of stuff please uh, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'd appreciate it thanks for watching